Chapter 7 MS PowerPoint 2016 Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Start PowerPoint 2016 Differentiate between slides and presentations Know the components of the PowerPoint window Create, save and close the presentation Warm up Rahul and Soumya are best friends Rahul adopted a cat few days back and Soumya is curious about her. So she asks several questions and Rahul shows the picture of her answer. Match the question asked by Soumya with the picture shown by Rahul. Question 1. What is the color of your cat? Question 2. What do you feed your cat? Question 3. What do its eyes look like? Question 4. Which is its favorite posture? Teachers note, inform students that the human mind is capable of understanding visual clues better than words and introduce them to that one such program which allows us to present information effectively is MS PowerPoint 2016. Hello friends, it's always better to beautify the text file with pictures and animation. Let's learn how to do it. PowerPoint is a popular application program that allows you to create the show slides to support a presentation. These presentations can include animation, narration, images, videos, backdrop and more. Remember it! To create a shortcut for Microsoft PowerPoint 2016, drag its icon from the start menu to the desktop. Advantages of presenting data in PowerPoint Using a PowerPoint presentation has the following advantages. 1. Organize and structure your presentation. 2. Animate your slide to enhance the visual impact. 3. Make ideas more attractive so that others can easily understand. 4. Provide an illustrative backdrop for the content of your presentation. Starting MS Word PowerPoint 2016 Follow the given steps to start MS PowerPoint 2016. Do you know? Start screen is also called Backstage View. Steps 1. Click on the Start button. 2. Scroll down to Alphabet P on PowerPoint 2016. 3. PowerPoint screen appears. Presentation and slides are two very important components of PowerPoint 2016. A slide in PowerPoint is where information can be placed in the form of text, pictures, sound, animation and much more. A collection of many slides is called a presentation. The introductory slide of the presentation is called the slide master. When all the combined slides of a presentation are shown to the audience, it is called a slideshow. Components of MS PowerPoint 2016 Window Quick Access Toolbar This toolbar appears on the left side of the PowerPoint 2016 title bar. It contains shortcuts for commonly used commands such as undo, redo, save, slideshow and many more. Let me answer. Discuss the difference between a real ribbon and a ribbon in MS PowerPoint. The ribbon A rectangular bar on the top of the PowerPoint window just below the title bar is the ribbon. A ribbon is made up of tabs and groups. It has multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. Slide Navigation Pane you can easily organize your slides using the slide navigation pane on the left side of the screen. From here, you can duplicate, rearrange and delete slides in your presentation. Vertical and Horizontal Scroll Bars In the presentation, we can view a particular slide section by clicking, holding and dragging the vertical and horizontal scroll bar. Slide Pane we can view and edit the chosen slide right here. Zoom control. We can change the percentage view of a slide by adjusting the zoom. The number to the right of the slider reflects the zoom percentage. Notes pane. Notes can be written here for the current slide. 
The speaker can also view them and does not appear when the presentation is running. Slides view option. There are different slides viewing option. Normal view. It is the default view in which the selected slide is displayed along the slide navigation window. Slide sorter. It displays smaller versions of all the slides in the presentation. Reading view. In this view, we can review slides more easily because all the modifying tools are hidden in this. Let me answer. How do you like to view the slides? Slide show. Slides from a presentation will be played through this. Backstage view. Backstage view create new presentation. You can also open, save, print, create, PDF and share presentation from the backstage view. Creating a new presentation. Follow the given steps to create a new presentation. Steps 1. Click on the file tab. 2. Select blank presentation in the backstage view. 3. A new blank presentation will appear on with the blank site. Do you know? Ctrl N is the shortcut key combination for making a new blank presentation. Slide layout. The arrangement of the slides content is referred to as the slide layout. Depending on the kind of information we want to include, we can choose a layout for our slide. Every time we make a new slide, we must select a slide arrangement that works with the information. A slide's default layout is Title Slides Layout. Follow the given step to change the layout. Steps 1. Click on the Home tab. 2. In the Slides group, click on the Layout button. 3. Select an appropriate layout for your slide. Saving a presentation. Always save the presentation before closing it. It allows to re-access the presentation in the future. Follow the given steps to save a presentation. Steps 1. Click on the File tab. 2. Click the Save or Save As command and click on the Browse option. 3. The Save As dialog box appears. Select the location of a file. 4. Give the name to the presentation. 5. Click on the Save button. 6. The presentation will be saved with an extension PPT. Closing a presentation. Follow the given step to close the presentation. Steps 1. Click on the File tab. 2. Select the Close option. 3. The currently open presentation will be closed. Exiting a presentation. To exit PowerPoint, click on the close button X on the title bar. Get PsyQ. What is the difference between closing a presentation and exiting the PowerPoint? Let's recall. PowerPoint is a popular application program that allows you to create and show slides to support a presentation. PowerPoint presents an illustrative backdrop for the content of your presentation. A collection of many slides is called a presentation. You can easily organize your slides using the slide navigation pane. Slide sorter displays smaller version of all the slides in the presentation. Different layouts can be chosen based on the information. Microsoft Office saved the presentation with an extension PPT. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. A collection of many dash is called a presentation. Answer. Slides. 2. Dash view is the default view in PowerPoint. Answer. Normal. 3. Dash is the shortcut key combination for making a new presentation. Answer. Ctrl N. 4. Microsoft PowerPoint save the presentation with an extension. Answer. PPT. 5. Dash pane is used to write notes. Answer. Note. B. Answer in one word. 1. The arrangement of the slides contents. Answer. Slides layout. 2. The percentage view of a slide can be changed by adjusting the zoom. 
Answer Zoom control. 3. We can view and edit the chosen slide right here. Answer Slide pane. 4. This toolbar appears on the left side of the PowerPoint 2016 title bar. Answer Quick access toolbar. 5. From here you can duplicate, rearrange and delete slides in your presentation. Answer Slide navigation pane. C. Write T for true statements and F for false statement. 1. The introductory slide of the presentation is called the introduction. Answer false. 2. A ribbon is made up of tabs and groups. Answer true. 3. A slide's default layout is title slide layout. Answer true. 4. MS PowerPoint is not allowed to add animations. Answer false. 5. Slide pane contains shortcut for commonly used commands such as undo, redo and many more. Answer false. D. Take the correct option. 1. Quick access toolbar doesn't contain a shortcut for this command. A. Redo. B. Save. C. Open. D. Undo. Answer C. Open. 2. Dash displays smaller versions of all the slides in the presentation. A. Slide sorter. B. Normal view. C. Slide show. D. Reading view. Answer A. Slide sorter. 3. In which tab save as option is present? A. Format. B. Insert. C. File. D. View. Answer C. File. 4. The view which hides all the editing tools to make slides easier to review. A. Reading view. B. Normal view. C. Slideshow. D. Slide sorter. Answer A. Reading view. 5. The rectangular bar on the top of the PowerPoint window just below the title bar. A. Quick access toolbar. B. The ribbon. C. Slideshow. D. Slide navigation pane. Answer B. The ribbon. E. Answer the following questions. 1. What is the use of MS PowerPoint? Answer. Using a PowerPoint presentation has the following advantages. 1. Organize and structure your presentation. 2. Animate your slide the visual impact. 2. Write the steps to change the layout of the slide. Answer. Follow the given steps to change the layout. Step 1. Click on the Home tab. 2. In the Slide Groups, click on the Layout button. 3. Select an appropriate layout for your slide. 3. Explain different slide view options. Answer. There are different slide viewing options. Normal view. It is the default view in which the selected slide is displayed along the slide navigation window. Slide sorter. It displayed smaller versions of all the slides in the presentation. Reading view. In this view, we can review slides more easily because all the modifying tools are hidden in this. Slide show. Slides from a presentation will be played through this. 4. Write the difference between slides and presentations. Answer. Slides. A slide in PowerPoint is where information can be placed in the form of text, pictures, sounds, animations and much more. Presentations. PowerPoint is a popular application program that allows you to create and show slides to support a presentation. 5. What is the use of the ribbon? Answer. A ribbon is made up of tabs and groups. It has multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. Critical thinking. A. Rearrange the letters to get the correct word. A. Presentation. B. Slides. C. Reading. D. Layout. E. Ribbon. B. Herman has made a beautiful presentation on Save Earth, but she forgets the step to save it. 
suggest to her the option she can use to complete the task answer follow the given step to save a presentation one click on the file tab two select the save or save as command to click on the browse option three the save as dialog box appears select the location of a file four give the name to the presentation five click on the save button six the presentation will be saved with an extension ppt team work find out the information on global warming and prepare 10 slides in powerpoint include causes and ways to prevent it answer students will do it themselves